Hi, I'm Tanaya and I'm a huge fan of cute DIYs, so feel free to join me on my quest of randomness as we're going to try some awesome pins and put them to the test. So, I've been wanting to try this for quite some time now. So let's go! First I have this vase filled with pebbles to hold the pencil as I'm making the flowers. Then we'll need a thin pencil shaped object and here I'm using this paintbrush with a tiny mark in it so I'm sure that all the petals will be about the same size. It's much thinner than the usual pen because a regular pencil or anything bigger will make the flowers too big and make the bracelet look chunky and not as delicate. But I'm going to make the flowers first with this pencil and it's slightly larger than I want it to be, but just to make sure that you can see. Then we need some thin silver covered wire around 1.5 or 1 mm thick. Some nail polish of course. On the pen we have white, green and a sort of orangey brown color, but you can definitely use any color you like. Some cotton swabs and some nail polish remover to give it a clean look. And then something to hold the flowers as they dry. I'm using this foam thing. Some brown tape. Scissors. Some glue and maybe some gloves if you're not too comfortable with the super glue. And then the final touch of a ribbon or a jewelry clasp to lock the bracelet. And that's it, so let's do it! We'll start out by making the flowers. So I'm just using the vase to support the pencil, which is of course optional. Roll out a piece of wire and snap it off. Of course I'm not using the scissor for this, I swear. Okay, so place the wire behind the pencil, then twist it around real tight. And tuck it under. And that's our first petal. Now hold on to the petal and again twist it around, making sure that the new petal is as close to the previous one as possible. And tuck it under. Repeat this process until you have five petals. look something like this, like really bad, but we'll fix that. Push the two ends down and bring them together in the center. And twist them together. If your petals got a little out of shape, you can always push them over the top of the pencil and bring back the shape. Make sure that your petals don't overlap each other. Then, for the final touch, we're going to hold on to the center. Then bend the petals individually on the side of the pencil. We're done! If 
In total I made 21 flowers, where 7 of them only have 4 petals, because in the picture the green ones only have 4 petals. Then I'm just going to take a large amount of nail polish on the brush and then just wiggle it underneath until it creates a bubble. Sometimes it sets really easily and sometimes you have to be a little patient. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Even though some people suggest using glue for this part, it's definitely doable with just nail polish. And then just clean up the edges. Then I'm just adding a second layer with the colors that I chose. I ended up painting 7 of the flowers white, 7 of the flowers this coral color and 7 of the flowers green. And then again just cleaning off the edges. Then we're going to cover the stock in this brown tape that I cut into these thin stripes. I'm using super glue at the ends to make sure that the tape doesn't fall off. And there we have it, our first flower is completely done. Now we are ready to make the bracelet. Start out by rolling out a large piece of wire. Cut the wire and then fold the piece in half. In the center of the wire we are going to make a tiny loop. Then measure the wire to your wrist to find the perfect size. Then cut the excess off, leaving some space to fold the wire over to make another loop at the end. Then twist it around.
make sure that the bracelet fits before moving on. Cover the whole thing in brown tape. Take a flower and align it with the bracelet, either on the top, left or right side of the bracelet. Then secure it with brown tape and glue. You can add the flowers in a pattern or just randomly like I'm doing here. Now it's time to attach your clasp or cut out a piece of ribbon and burn off the edges to secure them. Then create a knot at the center so the bracelet will be easier to tie. If you enjoyed this Pinterest tryout, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Bye!